Okay. So I hear there's a, a challenge in town, Coupe. Everybody's talking about it. I'm trying to do my own right here. Uncle Coupe actually is doing his own right here on Let's Talk Showbiz. This is a Tuesday edition. You are so welcome to your show. We have lots of stories for you right here on the show. My name is Becky. I'll be right back. Let's Talk Showbiz. All right, if you've just joined me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz. I'm your girl, Becky, and I am bringing you all the stories today. Let's start with the cutest DJ in the world. I'm talking about DJ Swish. She is back from the United States of America, and she's been talking to us right here on the show. I know, yes, yeah, she's back. And she says that it's not called New York City. It's New York City. It's New York City, baby. She's been sharing all the experience she had inside New York City. Let's go for DJ Swish. When the old is hustling with me I remember it was just the other day Now the heat is not get what to say Not to you go say Yes, we tell me so That's a better Wonderful thing that amazed me mm -hmm. When we sat in the plane mm -hmm. Can you imagine? They said support your own room mm -hmm. So I'd not be like a white woman mm -hmm. Support your own I went to the plane and they brought a menu. Choose what you want to eat. Okay. I saw omelette, uh, boiled eggs with, uh, uh, how do you say it? Salad and all that. Sandwich. And I saw orange juice and I said, at last. I saw bread at last. Mm -hmm. Then they, they asked my mommy, Mommy, please, what do you want to eat? Please, can you give me a little bit of omelette? Can you give me salad? <laughs> um, I want some butter. She <laughs> ate hers and ate mine. Okay. <laughs> eating the cheese like, eating the cheese like toffee. Okay. As if it's something that She's she eating eats. all the time. Ah, I was the first person who was supposed to perform and hmm. When I was done with my show and I was going to have a rest before they end the show, mm -hmm. and my mommy wanted to take some some shots, and I was going with my uncle, and it was like someone stopped me. And he said, "You did a great job." I said, "Thank you." And I heard someone saying, that, "Yeah, that's the French person." I said, mm. "Wow!" And he said, "What's your name?" I'm Erica. I'm probably Tando. Popular known as DJ Swiss. I said, you did very well. Are you a DJ? I said, yes. I said, how old are you? I'm 10. Do you want to go on stage with me? I said, only on one condition. Mm -hmm. Only if you don't ask me a question. Okay. And when we went on stage, he was like, so you are 10 years, mm -hmm. Erica, and you're a DJ. And I got confused. Is a statement to a question? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes. And I said, they left. <laughs> Let's talk showbiz. All right that was DJ Swish uh, congratulations to you girl keep making Ghana proud we want you out there to make Ghana proud however you want to do it please we're here to support you so uh, DJ Swish coming all the way from New York City I like I, I like the way she went about it like New York City <laughs> let's move away from DJ Swish and talk about Rocky Dawoni yes uh, my colleague Justice Bedu caught up with him in New York City America, somewhere inside America, yeah, all the way from America. And he's been talking about climate change and how musicians can, you know, uh, help change things in their vicinities, in their countries, Ghana, you know, across the world. And so uh, I'll bring you that conversation between Justice Beidou and Rocky Dawoni. And in fact, we are the ones that are paying the price and suffering the most in terms of the effect of climate change. What do you think artists like yourself should be doing um, in this direction to be able to sure that we're able to raise the awareness and then get a lot more Ghanaians getting interested in issues like climate change? Well, you know, the thing is that um, uh, artists have to recognize their uh, importance, the com importance to the community, because it's the community that makes the artists. Is the people that makes it the artists and the artists that makes the fans, you know? So 
If an artist also recognizes that your power and your pedestal is due to people appreciating what you do and putting that energy and elevating you, then you also have to realize your responsibility too to the community when there is an issue too that you know is going to impact the community. So you have to also dig within yourself and understand that music and celebrity is not only self-serving, but when you share it and you also use it as a tool to uplift everybody, then it even becomes, your legacy becomes even much more profound. So with that, with that said, I feel like issues like climate change, you know, I mean, growing up, you know, I remember, you know, areas, you know, back in my village in the north, you know, where, you know, during the farming season, the rains were on time, you know, those trees everywhere, all the farms, I mean, you see like the, the produce of the land was just so rich and incredible, you know, and now the rainfall patterns are all, you know, kind of, They've all changed. A lot of the places that used to be forest are all depleted. You know, people go and cut, you know, they go out into the bushes and cut firewood, you know, for their fires, but there's no kind of uh, concerted effort to replenish this forest, you know. So we're depleting the Earth's resources without making a plan to replenish it. And I feel that this needs to change. And then secondly, too, I feel uh, like, you know, climate change, you know, provides an opportunity to for countries like Ghana and uh, also Africa to see that when it comes to the renewable, re renewable space, you know, we have to know that the whole world is going into renewables. The whole world is going into energy forms like solar, you know, energy forms that don't have to, uh, you know, dig the ground and destroy like coal, you know, like dirty sources of energy. Uh, you know, hydroelectric, our country, you know, even our, what's it called, uh, the Akosombo Dam is not at its capacity anymore. You know, it can't be, it, it, it is no more part of a long-term solution for our country, you know. so. We should be embracing these new ideas that all around the West, everywhere I go, people are seeing as the business and the uh, uh, area of tomorrow's economic prosperity. We should be able to see the POC too, have that long view and jump on it right now and start developing and nurturing entrepreneurship and industry around these bold ideas. So for me, when I travel and I have the opportunity of mingling with you know world leaders and uh, you know you know social leaders from around the world and seeing all these incredible ideas, I also love to really bring it home and try to share it and uh, share it in the hope that we also have people to who embrace it and also you know hopefully too that our government is also able to see that this is the way to go rather than initiatives that will in the long run result in us depleting more of our forests destroying our rivers you know just like as the illegal mining is going and most of our water sources too drinking water sources are being depleted you know uh, these the, the, these things I mean if we don't have water we literally have to import it that's like the life source of our country so there's no other sacrifice that is worth that no other immediate money that can be gotten uh, out of that that is worth the sacrifice of depleting those resources let's talk showbiz move away from that and talk about the legends night yes we had three legends on the night i was actually keeping this for today so that Tuesday bonds in uh, October would we'll have fun. So I'm bringing it all back to you. What happened over the weekend uh, where Samini joined the likes of Daddy Lumba. Yes, to perform. I'm bringing it to you right here on the show. Please enjoy to all the Tuesday bonds. I got you. <laughs>
talk showbiz. My name is Becky. I love you. Uh, please keep up to Joy News and keep up with Let's Talk Showbiz. We'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.